A word of warning, when you're in Australia, never stick your finger into these holes. It might be home to burrowing spiders. Some species have a bite powerful enough to pierce nails. It feels similar to a hammer on your finger because of the venom. So always give your boots and outdoor clothes a quick check to be safe. Animals sometimes make homes or look for food in them, especially bandicoots. Silk-lined burrows in shady spots might belong to funnel-web spiders. The silk works as a trip line to alert the spider inside about what's happening outside. Look for shiny dark brown to black spiders with finger-like spinnerets at the end of their abdomen. Then you'll find them. Males have a hefty mating spur sticking out of the middle of their second pair of legs. When these spiders feel threatened, they make aggressive moves, rearing up and showing off their startling fangs. These spiders, which belong to the Aranida order, are known for their funnel-shaped webs that widen at the entrance. They patiently wait in the narrow funnel for prey to touch the web, then swiftly capture it. In Australia, large brown spiders frighten people due to their venomous bites. They are infamous for causing people to lose their lives in southern and eastern Australia, particularly in the Sydney area since the 1920s. Quick access to the antidote after a bite is crucial in preventing severe consequences. The next spider is one of the world's most dangerous venomous spiders. Phonutria nigriviter is a spider living in South America. People often call it the Brazilian wandering spider. You see, in Brazil, 4,000 people get bitten by this critter each year. The bites can cause serious issues, such as hypertension, blurred vision, sweating, and vomiting. You wouldn't want to meet with this creature as you can also face way more severe consequences than blurred vision. In some situations, its kiss can take a life. Apart from messing with humans, this spider has a diverse menu, including crickets, katydids, and even larger options like tree frogs, lizards, and bats. Operating under the cover of darkness, these creatures are the most active during the night. They ambush their prey instead of relying on webs. In the daytime, they seek refuge beneath logs or in narrow crevices. They love to be around banana trees, but can be found in urban areas and inside homes, too. If you spot them one day, be prepared. This creature's body is covered with thick brown hair and is not that small. In 2013, a London family had to leave their home due to an infestation of Brazilian wandering spiders. The trouble began when an egg sack hidden in a bunch of bananas, made its way to their local grocery store. No one noticed. When the family bought the bananas, the egg sac broke open. Potentially lethal spiders spread around the house. Over 2,500 people visit poison control centers annually in the U.S. Black widows are spiders with the signature hourglass mark on their bellies. Well, let's talk about their bite. These creatures have a bad reputation because their venom is supposedly 15 times stronger than what rattlesnakes pack. When they bite humans, the bite causes muscle aches and nausea. The venom can even mess with breathing by paralyzing the diaphragm. Despite these cases, most people who get bitten don't end up with serious issues unless they're elderly or very young. These sneaky creatures don't pick just one spot to hang out. You can find them in wood piles, burrows, or among plants that act as scaffolding for their webs. Black widows are especially dangerous for other insects and their mates. After a not-so-romantic mating dance, ladies sometimes go all Hannibal Lecter on their mates. These spiders are architects, too, spinning massive webs where females stash a cocoon loaded with hundreds of eggs. Baby spiders move out once they hatch, but the web stays put. Those webs are also traps. Different kinds of prey later join the Black Widow's spooky snack collection. Yellow sack spiders range in size from approximately 0.12 to 0.6 inches and construct silken tubes under stones, in leaves, or in grass. They're found across the United States and southward toward Mexico and South America. They are venomous to humans and, unfortunately, are commonly spotted indoors. The venom of the yellow sack spider contains cytotoxin. This is a substance that can damage or impair cell function. Reactions like redness and swelling at the bite side are common. Yellow sack spiders are not known for their calm nature either. For instance, a female yellow sack spider may bite when protecting her eggs. These spiders usually come in different light colors. 
They can be a hassle for people in more than one way. Your car can be in danger, too. On rare occasions, they may even set up nests in car engines. Moving on to wolf spiders. They're part of a large and widespread group found worldwide. They're named this way for their wolf-like hunting behavior of chasing and pouncing on prey. Around 125 species exist in North America, and approximately 50 live in Europe. These spiders are typically dark brown, with long, broad, hairy bodies and sturdy elongated legs. Like me. Eh, just kidding. They're super speedy. While they usually create silk-lined tubular nests in the ground, some may conceal the entrance with debris. Others build turret-like structures. A few species also spin webs. Wolf spiders may bite in self-defense. They are venomous, but their bites are not considered dangerous. Some people who are allergic to spider bites may experience nausea, dizziness, and an elevated heart rate. The bite of the spider's large fangs is similar to a bee sting, so it can cause a physical wound at the bite site, and the venom may cause itchiness. The combination of their powerful bite, rapid movements, and startling appearance can be quite unsettling. Beware of the redback spider, the close relative of the notorious black widow. It used to live in Australia, yet it has managed to spread its web across New Zealand, Belgium, and Japan through grape exports. The distinctive red stripes or hourglass marks on their black backs are more noticeable in females. Disturb a female, and you'll see how she can defend her eggs. You're likely to get bitten. These spiders can sneak into shoes or clothing, lurking against the victim's skin while they're dressing. Both male and female redbacks have a venomous bite. Their venom is a cocktail of neurotoxins. It can cause sweating, rapid heartbeat, and swollen lymph nodes. The redback has control over the venom dose, so symptoms vary based on how much is injected. Australia deals with over 250 redback bites annually, many requiring anti-venin treatment. The latest case, when a person lost their life after being bitten, dates back to 1956. Yet it can happen, so stay vigilant and cautious around these stealthy spiders. Let's talk about the heavyweight champion of the spider world, the Theraphosis blondii, casually known as the Goliath bird eater. This giant tarantula can stretch up to 11 inches and tip the scales at 6 ounces. To put it in perspective, this spider is big enough to cover your dinner plate and is certified by the Guinness World Records. The nickname might make you picture a tarantula feasting on a hummingbird, but that's more of an artistic exaggeration dating back to the 18th century. These spiders are more into munching on arthropods and rarely go for bird snacks. Goliath bird-eaters don't bother with webs like their spider buddies. Instead, they're all about silk, using it to line their cozy burrows beneath the forest floor. The spider itself looks dangerous, but its bite almost never requires a doctor's visit. It feels more like a wasp sting. Goliath bird-eaters are the biggest spidey on Earth. On the other side of the spectrum, we have this guy from Colombia. They are among the tiniest spider species. Grown-up males of this species are 0.015 inches long, tinier than your average pinhead. Females are usually a bit larger. Well, that was creepy, wasn't it? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.